Greetings Commanders, this is Pagan Horde and this will be the 34th episode of this ongoing playthrough. Please do all the usual YouTube stuff. Now uh, we are diving right into this one, uh, mostly because I had a little uh, recording difficulty in the intro. Uh, my cat pushed the uh, water, water glass off the desk and had me jump three feet in the air. It wasn't very pretty. <laughs> you know, stuff happens. But uh, we're jumping right in. In between, we just uh, advanced 22 days by moving to another planet, uh, improved the drop tonnage a bit, and we're going straight into a battle for 11 difficulty again. And let's see what happens. Command interface initiated. There we go. Feels like a trap. Because it probably is. So, this is a straightforward battle. Again, for uh, 11 difficulty stuff, I'm going to be conservative and do uh, easy uh, quote-unquote mission. So, dropping here behind this mountain sounds reasonable. It would give us cover and give us time to see what we're dealing with. This one is against the local government, so I don't expect a super difficult clan stuff, but you never know. The Caesar. Megas. Ooh, the pirate guy. That thing is dangerous. That thing can fire 120 MRMs. And the AI loves firing 120 MRMs. So we're gonna stay out of this guy's direct fire range. The Caesar is one of those Franken mechs, if I'm not mistaken. I live to serve. On my way. Double time. Speaking of Franken mech, yeah, the cataphract. Caesar looks very much like a cataphract. Thousand armor. All right. Order. Well, for this spawn protection round, I'm gonna stay behind my mountain and be careful. What's up, boss? I'm probably gonna play the reserve game uh, next turn and only poking my head out if I have softened them up to make a killing How's blow. Going? On my way, double time. Alright. Confirmed. One last. Go. Affirmative. And Good. last on. one. There we go. Oh, no, there's one more. Receiving you. And it is our mortar boat. Okay. So, the good thing is these guys do not appear to have a lot of indirect fire. So that we can probably play that game. At initiative 19, it's pretty fast. There's a chance that if that's, it's that Caesar, he could go up there and be in direct firing range. It is a Caesar, but he's moving away. Alright. What do you need? So Nidhog, those are both my Nidhog, they are gonna reserve. Uh, uh So they're both at 17 necks. That's perfect with me. This means after these two acts, we can do uh, everything we want. The mega, the megas is a dangerous one. The other two, fairly standard shenanigan. Come on, guys. Do the thing. That's one. Since the last batch, the uh, AI has been a bit slower. Maybe it's just me. Okay. So. You. I think we're gonna go forward now. 
because they all have acted and we can do something like this I'm receiving you now uh, for the TB On the oh, move. there's a fourth Open. one it's another fract really so two fract and a Caesar goes to into a bar Yeah, the Megas is pretty tough. So we're gonna send the long tom down range over there to uh, hit the two of these because there's a nice cluster. I've got your back. The Orion 2C Straight cannot away, get I'm a direct back. on the on you, but we can do more of that. Say goodbye. Nice hits. Ready for orders. Crusada. Crusader 2, you're a bit I'm out of range, so time. you're gonna use your swarm, improved swarm, in the back. There's lots of pretty numbers. Good to go. Kingfisher! Kingfisher, you do not need. You're not even gonna move. You're gonna apply acid on our big boy here. Even though we could get splash damage on these two, I want to take out the megas. Shot. The acid's gonna help a lot. Target's taking a critical hit. So you're covered in acid. Let's do this. And you cannot you're unbalanced. Okay. Up. This should hurt. Taking the shot. There we go. That hit something. The uh, pirate Yep. The pirate uh, medium range missile system is destroyed. So that was a dangerous spot. Got it. No shooting, just running. So I'm not going to use my cluster bomb then, I'm just going to rack you. There we go. Target destroyed. Then the dangerous one goes down. So the other two, three, pardon me. Well, I don't want to underestimate them, but they're regular stuff. Don't want to underestimate them and jinx it. But the biggest threat is done. There appears to be other enemies somewhere. That's probably when Darius gonna say something Let's soon. Yeah. We can't afford to go over there and drop... Going full throttle. Wow, that cataphract is not looking good. Huh, that was weird. And drop the cluster. Aye, aye. Engaging. Show me your war. Oh, battle armor. Hey there. are. That's what's happening. They're covered in battle armor. That's the uh, the bar we were seeing. So the uh, three of them appear to have initiative 19 at the same time. That's interesting. And could be dangerous. If they, the three of them focuses on one, uh, it could be dangerous. Kind of like that. Next, will it be the Fract or the Caesar? You can do it. Yeah, the AI has been a bit slow lately. Come on, it's just a cataphract. Wow. Maybe because it's the battle armor that adds more stuff uh, to think about, like uh, swarm and everything. Maybe. Because a simple fract should not be taking that much time. Or Caesar. Yeah, okay. Losing lots of armor. Last one! Oh. One of ours. Well done. Okay. Pilot is okay. We may have lost one of our Nidhogg there. Waiting for orders. The brand new bomber too. Confirmed. We will find out after the facts. 
Engaging target. More battle armor damage. Good to go. Archer. Affirmative. You have a great shot there. Take it. Let's do this. On the move. That should do something. Very nice. Good to go. Crusader. Location confirmed. Finish this one off. Oh, I was still using the swarm, but it appears that it didn't matter. Orders. I would love a Megas. What's the best hit chance? This guy. I mean, I don't see any reinforcements. This might be it. This might be it. Wasted battle armor. I'll take that. Drop more acid. Alright, well, if we assume that it's just these guys, because it doesn't appear to be any other reinforcement, we're just gonna drop the rest of the cluster and kill them. Just like that. It would be a bit sad to lose our bomber to such a simple mission. Critical hit. I'm ready. Come on. Location confirmed. Enjoy. Locking target. Once more under the breach, dear friend. I think um, I'm gonna add. We looted a uh, clan plasma uh, g cannon. I think I'm gonna add it to the uh, to the thunderbolt. To it. He already has the plasma rifle in his hands. It could be double heat. It could be cool. It would be less damage, but more heat, so. Could be interesting. Goodbye to you. Well, this was. Relatively simple. But we still managed to lose a veto. Let's hope it, it's not broken. Uh, we'll find out in a sec. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, it looks... That's the uh, the old one. It looks here. Pilot uninjured. I... Don't see... I don't see parts of a... Um, Nidhogg, so I think we, is, we got it... We got it away clean. Wow, cool. Okay. So what else is there? You have only one part of the Highlander. But it, I'm probably going to take it anyway, because I do love that thing. Pirate jank. We got some improved MRMs. I wonder if we can take that guy and add Apollo attachment to his pirate jank I mean that could be cool that could be really cool if not you just use the uh, improved so let's take that the rest is uh, blah yeah blah so we got one of those little uh, battle armor guy standard medium jump jet assault I will take it. We don't have any in stock. Prototype, that's always good. Alright. So that will be it for this one. It was relatively fast, so I'll see you uh, next one. We'll find ourselves perhaps something more interesting. See you in a sec. Alright, so that was an easy one. We don't even have any repair at all. The only victim was our VTOL. And uh, we didn't lose it. So, no repair at all. Let's pass the financial report. And see what else happens. Financials whenever you are. Expensive stuff.
I'm gonna have to uh, clean, maybe clean some uh, stuff stuff out of the inventory again. Uh, just a quick look at the store. A385. Perfect. That's the perfect engine for a 100 tonner. With that, we're gonna be able to build the Marauder 2. That is awesome. Awesome. Wow. We were very lucky to get the exact 385. Uh, uh, we've talked about it before in a, uh, some of the Megbay talk. But the uh, the lowest engine that gives you 6.4 on a 100 tonner is 385. Just 5 below at 380, you go down to... Um, you go down to uh, 53 or just one less but the 385 is, is the engine for a 100 tonner nice Take off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. lucky find yeah the flare up doesn't work the reason we traveled to this planet before was to uh, attempt a flare up but the difficulty uh, is incorrect right now this is the same type of problems we've had before, like a year or two back in the online map with the uh, priority mission not being in a correct difficulty. Okay, so we have two attack and defend at 12 difficulty, which even me is not stupid enough to do that. Uh, we do have a green cat. This is one where you're limited to four, uh, so I'm not that interested but I do love my blackout in a blizzard at 11 difficulty we're doing that we are doing that with five nice five and two million that's perfect let's kill some Lyrians but it is the maximum 400 ton one okay so we're not gonna drop the Kingfisher we're not going to use our artillery for that one. Uh, yeah, because um, blackouts are um, not usually not something where you have the range to artillery or mortar. Usually, stop the, the traps is right in your face. So you want the more uh, kill now energy than... Uh, so we're going to drop one of our Nidhogg. So we're 395. We're going to keep the new guy, the bomber, because the, it's massive AOE bombing run against uh, perhaps phase two when you get a cluster of enemies that spawn. I think it would be quite interesting. So we're going to deploy it this way with our big boys that can do uh, damage, straight damage quite fast. Okay, let's see what happens. See you guys in a sec. Okay, blackout in the blizzard. What could possibly go wrong? And by the way, thank you, Seawolf, because blackouts are my favorites. Command interface Very well, what do we have? Is that one of the new one? I think it is. Oh, we got a support. Even though we went under underweight to this mission because it's limited to 400, we get a support. So let's try not to pop this thing before we handle the support. Let's try to find them. Got it. I, I, I mean, we're we're on the high ground right there. If we could um, perhaps no. keep it, stay on the high ground. Let's see uh, where. Our friends are at. I don't see them. Oh, they're in the back. Yeah, that's not fun. Blackouts are my favorite, but the one thing I do find a bit egregious. egregious is when uh, a support lance spawns all the way in the back out of reach like uh, the one we had with the uh, the mauler there Whoa. 
Uh huh. That looks like an archer, yeah. Uh uh uh. Two M20, classic stuff. The E, that's a classic Orion, sure. So in a perfect world, we don't want to start this before we deal with them. But that would mean going all the way around. So uh, I'm not sure it's going to be possible. We might have to uh, handle both at the same time. But if it's just these two... Oh, here comes three. Light damage, Commander. That's a longbow. That is a lot of LRMs. In a sphere, LRMs at least, but still. And now that this is a mission where I didn't bring my long thumb. Ah. Commander. Mistakes were made. So I'm gonna turn around here with Hold the bomber. And I'm gonna attempt to go around here with these guys. Got it. Standing by. So uh Please be patient with me a bit, because this is a bit of a weird uh, spot we are on. I don't even know if we can go down this side. Uh, swarm you. There we go. Commander. The Orion was able to go down. We're gonna be careful about sprinting in the bad uh, rough terrain. For the base itself, I see turrets that are there. They could be for or against us. Yeah. Were you trying to attract my attention or something? I live to serve. Thunderbolt, you're gonna go down this way. Heading out, full speed. This is not the best situation. Yep. Nothing I can't handle. There's gonna be a lot of futzing around until we can uh, reach them. Pulling off. Oh, there's another one. A faff! An S7. That's the faff with the mechanical jump jet 10. Well, fuck me. Okay. Okay. Things have just changed. We need that to kill that faff without damaging its legs. Okay. Well, the good thing is, you can Ready absolutely forward. backstab him and blow up his engine, because his engine is nothing, and you want his legs. Right. Wow. Things just changed. Confirmed. What's up, boss? What's up is you going down there. So please be patient with me on this one, because... Uh, we're gonna need to move a lot and maneuver and all that. Ow. And now we have a specific target in mind that changes things. How can I help? Yes. Okay, well, at least we're able to go, go down this way. 28, 15, 28 it is. Roger that. How's it going? Roger that. Probably gonna be this in 35, 38. Firing on target. Artemis are not the best for this, but it's what I have. What do we got at 19? Yeah. Alright, so please be patient with me as we do this LRM battle. It's not the uh, 
most thrilling scenario. But the, those happens in the randomness of drops and spawns. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I do regret a lot not bringing the Long Tom, because uh, Long Tom would be devastating this cluster of enemies. I await your command. And my command is move. Let's move. So we have zero out of two units. We're st nobody is in too close to the base. So the good news, I think we we can go around it without too much trouble, without triggering the rest of the event. Nice, here's the seven. So, given the situation, I'm gonna use the bomber's full uh, attack right now. Instead of waiting for... Uh, instead of waiting for the rest of uh, the, uh, the second phase of this mission. Affirmative. Because we have a nice cluster down there. Target. And I want to get a move on. Commander. So we're gonna swarm that group to get some maximum AoE. And you're gonna go backstab them right here. Copy that. So I'm gonna target you with everything. Firing. And I'm gonna let the AoE do the rest. No ammo in multiple weapons. So you're almost dead. You look fine. Receiving you. Now my archers ATM is now regular ATM is now on my way. Double time. In range. That should start Target doing something. Good to go. And they've been targeting this Orion a bit. So let's not bring him too far forward. Heading out. Acknowledge. I'm your spaniel. So, Mr. Spaniel, if you go here, is it gonna be one of two? Confirmed. It is. All right. Let's uh, attempt not to trigger it, but still, one of two is uh. Not too much. That was a good hit. But I don't think the daisy cutter hit because he, he would be dead. A 125 in the back would have been it. You really don't like my Orion. That's amazing. have both this guy and the S7. Who's a very, very dangerous mech, so playing with him to get uh, proper uh, salvage is a dangerous business. Still on the Orion, okay. What will you do next? Next is the S7. Let's see if we'll use the jumping or is gonna be sticking around there. Yeah, he's jumping. Oh, and firing on the Nidhog. That's interesting. Damage is light. And he seemed to have been able to turn around. In his jump with the mechanical jump jet, we're you're not supposed to be able to do. But he just showed us his back, though. Light damage, commander. And I will absolutely blow off his engine so that I can get to the good stuff. Affirmative. What kind of a chance we get twenty-seven. Take it. That's a lot of nice little tens in the back. Received. You're gonna go back to our Timis and you're gonna fire in the back. On. There we go. How can I help? Orion 2C. 
you're getting a direct shot at somebody else. But uh, I'm not gonna take it, I'm gonna keep Ready firing on you. I'm firing on the enemy. Commander. So, you're going to go in his back. Can I? Yes. Like this. And uh, you're gonna give him the business. Copy that. I've got no ammo in multiple weapons. How are you looking there, buddy? Losing lots of armor. Waiting for orders. Orion, I'm gonna go around. Because I don't want to trigger the rest of the event. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna go here. Right over here. No shooting, just running. I went through the hot zone, but since I'm just firing the LRM. bad thing is, now that he falls on his back, uh, the back is protected. But we got good damage on his back and we got one damage on the pilot, two out of three. So we will take that. And uh, we're not gonna fire on him while he's down, because I don't want to damage the leg. We're gonna play the, uh, the waiting game, waiting for him to get up. try to do that all over again what happened there did what the hell happened did you fire on your own and I'm ready ah uh, I am confused okay so only one in the zone so I'm gonna bring the Thunderbolt forward on my way double time uh, I think the Orion killed the pilot of the S7. Wow. If that's the case, we could get a full S7. And that would be cool beyond my wildest dream. Firing on the TB, that's fair. You're going to attempt to backstab the, uh, the Orion who has a bad back already. Roger that. Full speed. Like this. Firing on target. I cannot wait to see the salvage screen and see what happened. Because I think the Orion killed the pilot. So somehow did two more damage to the head to the pilot I don't know to me I am confused so I think we can go here you're we're not triggering and we have good hit chance now let's uh, get that Orion nice and stressed the archer must not trigger the base so you're going around like this as well And uh, try to get Affirmative. him on his back. It's go time. That'll do. Think I. Waiting for orders. Crusader, can you get a direct shot? You can. So uh, Artemis, the this guy. Engaging. Beautiful. That chain, same thing. You're gonna go around this way. Without this. And uh, attempt to finish this guy. Engaging target. That hits something good. Yeah, it's a good time to panic. Oh, it's on now. Crusader, go around, get a direct shot. All in ass. Hit him. Engaging target. Beautiful. Show him what you got. I'm thinking about the, the long, these long bows, they have a lot of explosive ammo. So we have the archer left and this guy at initiative 8. We should be able to get this Orion before it gets up.
Ooh, structure exposed on our TB. Okay. Someone might call this trouble. I might. And that's the arm with the plasma rifle. Okay. Yes, so I'm going to take you out of danger after this. Roger. And uh, we're just going to kill this guy. Come on. Reporting. Miss Bomber, you are out of almost everything. So we're just going to fire the snub nose this turn. Bring you around there. Fire the snub. You. Mr. TB, I'm gonna... Do I pull you out or do I go in? I could go inside the minimum range of the uh, archer there. On my way. And not Double be time. too much in danger. Orion. Double still time. skirting Double. around the base. Firing. Finally, I think. That's it for you. Yeah. You got. That's it for you. One left. And now the, the 2C has a direct fire. And you're not gonna miss this opportunity, right? Indeed. That was a critical hit, lad. Give him everything you've got. Yes, Commander. Crusader! Crusader! Stand and shoot. Knock down. And gone. Okay. So we got it. We may have a full S7. I still can't believe what happened. We get a hit a bit of lag, but right now I'm so happy about the S7 that I don't care about the lag. Affirmative. Okay. But we are far from done, however. And technically the mission hasn't even started. So there's still room for us to get our asses kicked, so... Let's, uh... Let's be careful. I'm gonna pull the Thunderbolt out of the way. I will be careful with him for the rest of the mission. Because, uh... And I am out of bombs. We used all our bombs, or almost. Okay, so we're heading to second settlement. So it is a nothing burger then. That's good, that's good, because I don't want to risk our beautiful salvage by messing up this mission. And we can now uh, just regroup on the next one. It does mean getting down that hill and all these bad uh, that bad terrain, so let's... Uh, Let's be careful how we go. Let's go down this side. Acknowledge. Not through the bad terrain here. Hopefully that will work. Position confirmed. TB. I'm probably gonna leave the TB up here. Got it, Commander. Bomb. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a cut here, and we will see each other when I'm ready to go for the rest of the mission. I'm going to use this side of the mountain here, trying to avoid the bad terrain, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so Republic Settlement, sent check-in on Miss Bosch. Uh-huh. Raise hell. So it's a trap. Oh, we have a lamb. Oh, he's taking his time, as with all lambs. Vibro sword, five ton on. Okay, it's the shadow arc. We. Yep. Speaking of. Yep, yep, yep. Hello there, shadow arc. My armor's in bad shape. Okay, so we were saying. That we have a stalker, an avatar, and a king crab one. Oh shit! The O one is um, uh, 
not the most dangerous one, but I can't take much more of this. It is a king crab. Ready for orders. So let's go right. Do we try to hit him in the back instead? Well, what kind of hit chance would I get? Not good ones. So no. With the uh, alarm boat, I'm gonna go here. And I'm going to get the King Crab's attention. I know that's scary, but I want to get the attention off of our uh, vulnerable boy here, who is destabilized. Next is the Stalker. The Stalker fires on the Ninhard. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, you... Uh, just going to move so that I don't fall on my ass. I would have loved to get a backstab, but Acknowledged. we're gonna do that. Firing. Oh, yeah. it's that worked oh. out well. Down you go. You've got my attention. So I'm gonna fire on the same Good flank burn. with the other Orion. The gotcha. That's one. Okay, so at 17, that is the scary crab. Let's see what it does. If it lands its double AC-20 uh, at, on anything, it would be bad. Ooh, we have Gauss. You have Gauss. Well then. Well then. Lag. So let's... Uh Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, go here Copy and that. go heavy explosive, baby. Enjoy. Confirmed. Give another <laughs> Enemy down. One hit kill by the archer on a king crab. Gotta love that. Let's hit the stalker. There you go. No ammo. 4H no ammo. is the classic uh, stalker missile boat. They're pretty sweet. Lots of things can be done with these guys. With the shit ton of hard points. Waiting for orders. So, I'm gonna dare to bring uh, my TB in the fight, even if it's Move. a bit damaged. And we're gonna hit the stalker. Maybe get some crossfire. Right, there we go. Plasma heat. Oh, the turrets are against me. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Orders. That makes things more complex. So, I'm gonna take the Crusader and hit the Stalker again. There's lots of juicy bits that can explode. Hell yes. Something like that. Right torso that down. Going down. Nice. So the 4H is in Order. trouble. And with the TB, Move order received. Gauss in placement, LBX, heavy AC, yeah. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Another one hit kill. Enemy battle mech down. Well then. Well then. So I'm gonna go play over there. Hoping those turrets will target the high evasion of the Nidhog as soon as I can. So we're gonna go to sprint seven and play with the turrets. Pew. Yes, Sensor in bad. Nothing to sneeze at. Roger. And now I'm gonna finish off this guy. Okay. One time. Lance is done. You. And Moving can uh, heavy explosive you. That should do a lot of damage. Fire! Got it. Hell yes. It did. Scored a critical hit. Talk to me. And the 2C is gonna attempt to finish off the Gauss emplacement. Good 
because that's the one I was worried about. The other two are auto cannon, so they are still dangerous, but just not as much. Yeah, okay. The LBX and placement got a few hits in, but okay, let's go. We're good. We are good. TB, you can move forward and fire everything. Got it, Commander. It's a dual LBX-20, which is nothing to sneeze at. But I think we got this. You're going to switch. Uh, you can fire 18 of them. So you will go to standard. Got it. Let's hit them hard. This ATM Archer is gone. proving to be quite efficient. I love it. Missiles. It's more efficient than our um, PPC uh, Marauder, I think. Missiles, Hi. man. I love my missile because they always work. Roger. No fancy headshot. No fancy shenanigan. Put damage on target. Until it goes boom. Mission so. Successful. Really looking forward to the salvage screen. We may get a foot full S7. If we do, that is an endgame mech. So, let's see what we get. So. Here comes the important moment. I'm... Pretty happy with how the archer works. The TB just got a bit of a shoulder problem. But he's fine. Faf F7. Oh shit. But it doesn't mean that is uh, we're gonna get the jump jets. Even if we rebuild him. So let's see if the mechanical jump jets are available. They are. Wow. Now that is a power spike. We get both the jump jet and a faff. Wow. Now there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Not gonna lie, but this. <laughs> this. It takes precedence. Wow. I'm gonna say it again. Wow. Okay, AC-10, ER large laser. No thanks. Ghost rifle M7. No, LBX clan. Uh, I mean, not clan. Compact heat and kit. Sure. Engine core 100. Actually, yes, because that, with the jumping bunny, the, you can use something like this. Ferro fibers. The inner sphere one. Less interested. And there we go. I still can't believe it. So, before we finish this episode, uh, we're gonna build the F7, uh, the FAF S7, and see if we get a double mechanical jump dread salvage. I mean, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure one of the two legs will be busted, which breaks the, the entire system. So, but here's hoping. Let's uh, see you guys in a sec. So, 21 days of repair. That's fine. But that's not why we are here. We are here because... Hey, Commander. We get one of the best mech of the game. One of the end game mech. A faff. What do we got? Come on, tell me we have a double jump set. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a chance. We do! Holy shit! The mechanical jump jet system is there! Wow! We have two full jump jet 10 in this episode. That is insane! Wow! Okay. Wow. I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So, we just did, or at least recorded not so long ago, a mechanical some, uh, jump jet system uh, mech bait talk about exactly this guy with this. Wow. 
And what's cool about the S7 is, aside from this, is the auto cannon accuracy. That works with racks, that works with everything. That is insane. So we can make a double uh, rack, rack five risk. We can make uh, plenty of good stuff uh, with you. We have three, three uh, hard point here. I mean, a lot of things can be done with this guy. Of course, the goal is to take advantage of the uh, accurate weapon AC. So you're going to be another dude that we don't have the stuff we need to make you. But, I mean, we get a full S7. So first things first, always up armor hit the legs. Because any damage, any critical damage to the legs have a chance to break the system and, um, on any of the legs. And, uh, wow, well, validate and... Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna see what we can do we're gonna need to uh loot lots of racks because i want to do both this guy and now our marauder to c i can maybe stack the uh put the 2c uh marauder to c with mechanical jump jets as well and do a double bunny wow Okay, so uh, that is a major, major power spike. We do need, however, to find the proper weapon system to make these guys sing. But wow. Everything changed when the S7 showed up. Everything. So that will be it for this one, guys. Our, the next target will be the hunt for autocannon weapon and racks. Spin it up and spin to win. See you guys next time.